Hi viewers, this is Sharad. I am going to start the sessions on IBM MQ. Today in the first session, I am going to discuss the introduction of MQ. First, we should know about MQ. So coming to history of MQ, MQ stands for message queuing. MQ introduced in 1993 and it is called MQ series in the initial years. After that, it is renamed to IBM Vespier MQ added into IBM Vespier suit in the year 2002. Then in the year 2014, it is renamed to IBM MQ. The latest version of MQ available in the market is version 9. So, what is MQ? MQ is a message keying. Message keying is a middleware product or messaging interface that communicate or integrate two applications by sending and receiving the data or information. Based on that data or information, the destination applications can take action. Here we should know what is the middleware. Middleware is a software product that can act as a bridge between database and applications or operating system and applications. And coming to message. What is message? A message is a representation of information or data exchanged between two applications. It can be in any format like uh, binary, text, or structured data, and etc. A message contains two parts MQ message description and message body. MQ message description contains expiry date and time, message ID, correlation ID, group ID, sequence number, put date and time application name, queue manager name, queue name, etc. Like, do we remember the postal letter in the initial years in that to and from addresses and contact details, date and time. In the same way, the message queue message contains the message de description. What is message body? A message body contains the information or data or action process based on that the application can take the action. And coming to the types of messages. Messages are four types. They are datagram message. Datagram message is a message that cannot expect the response. Like uh, we can take an example. We can send a, uh, the messages from one mobile to another mobile. We cannot uh, expect any uh, response like uh, we didn't uh, set or do the settings like we uh, notifications so that type of message is called datagram messages request message a message that can expect the response message a message that can respond uh, a message that can expect response message is called request message and reply message a message in, resp in response to a request message is called reply message. A message in response to a request message is called reply message. And report message. A message that tells about an occurrence or an event. A message that tells about an occurrence or an event is called report message. 
Applications can send and receive the messages in two ways. Asynchronous messaging and synchronous messaging. What is asynchronous messaging? Source can send the messages continuously without wait for acknowledgement or response from destination application. That is called asynchronous messaging. And synchronous messaging. What is synchronous messaging? Source application can send the messages and wait for the acknowledgement response. It can expect the response at same time. That type of message is called synchronous messages. Applications define messages based on the requirement and importance in, into two types. Persistent messages and non-persistent messages. What is persistent message? The messages haven't lost in the event of any failure occur like uh, server crash, uh, network failure or QMNH down. In that case, the messages will not lost and they are stored in, in the MQQ. So that type of message is called persistent messages. And non-persistent messages. What is non-persistent messages? The messages will not store anywhere that can be lost whenever any failure occur or like uh, server crash or uh, network failure. It can be anything. Uh, the messages will not store in the MQ. So the type of message is called non-persistent messages. So coming to features of MQ. Why we go for IBM MQ in current current business? So because of these features are saying the IBM MQ is better than other products. So first one is IBM MQ can provide assurance to the end users on message delivery. IBM MQ can deliver messages once and only. That means once end user or destination application gets the messages, the messages will not stored and will not appear in MQ. The messages delivered to the applications. Independent of platforms, IBM MQ is an independent software that cannot depend on any platform or database or OS. It can run on any OS. IBM MQ is very reliable product than others. The data or information can deliver fast and confirm. IBM MQ is a highly secured product in current business. So yes, here I can explain how the MQ works. Take an example like uh, application A and application B. Application A is the source application and application B is the destination application, I mean uh, end user. So once application A want to send the messages to the application B. So uh, application A connects to the MQ and put a message in MQQ and application B wants to receive the message. So application B connects to the MQ and uh, gets the message from the MQQ. So this is the way the MQ works as a communicator or integrate two applications so the viewers I hope you like this video please stay tuned for further sessions thank you